alin kaya sa totoong pamananalo kapag may laban-laban sila? Is it this one? The one with the poster paint used? This one with the oil pastel? Or this one with the crayons used? Buwan na wika, series pa rin tayo. This time, it's gonna be a battle of mediums. So I will discuss about each of the mediums, ano yung pros and cons, so you can be guided. Just in case the mechanic says you can use anything. So let's start with the oil pastel. So this medium has the most striking color, di ba? So advantage ng oil pastel, masyado matingkad ang kulay, ang gandang gamitin. And yung outline niya, na black, black na black talaga. That's the reason why ito yung most commonly used medium. And ito yung ginagamit ng mga nagpapakontest as their official um, uh, medium na uh, ilalagay nila sa mechanics. Kasi they, they, they produce the most visually pleasing outputs. Ang cons lang, masyadong, mahi, masyadong nakakapagod gamitin. Kasi lalo na kung, kung malaki yung board na gagamitin mo. Uh, kung i-apply mo ko sa yung pastel the, uh, the, the usual way, the normal way, medyo masakit siya sa kama. You know, wala yung... And cost-wise, I think, siya yung nasa gitna eh. Kung kukumpara mo siya sa Crayola at poster color, siya yung nasa gitna. This, eh, the, the regular ones would cost like 50 pesos, yung pinakamaliit. And yung pinakamalaki, I mean, yung pinakamaraming kulay na nakalagay would cost you like 300 to 500 pesos, depende sa brand. But those brands are like the good ones. Yun yung, yun yung advantage mo kung post pag, pag oil pastel yung ginamit mo sa laban. You'll be able to create the most striking colors. Basta tama yung kombinasyon ng kulay mo. Tama yung pagkakablend. Tama yung pagkakatabi-tabi. Like the uh, complementary colors. And, and things like that. So basta tama ang pagkakagamit. Oil pastel is the thing. And then let's go to the next medium. The Crayola. I think Crayola is very underrated. Um, pag sinabing Crayola, parang wala ka ng chance manalo. Parang pang elementary yung gawa. I don't think so, guys. Pag malakas yung concept mo, it doesn't matter kung ano pang medium ang gagamitin mo. As long as it's not violating the mechanics or, or the rules, diba? Paano kung bawal ang Crayola? So, make sure to follow the rules. That's the number one thing. And check the criteria. Kapag napakataas ng uh, criteria for judging ng originality, pag nag-Crayola ka, kakaiba ka, mataas ang grade sa part mo. And most especially, dapat concept-wise, malakas ka din. Hindi lang art-wise. So, as you can see, as you would normally expect uh, from Crayola, medyo texturized siya. But kahit medyo texturized siya, basta nasa, na maganda yung pinili mong kombinasyon ng kulay, eh, gaganda at gaganda pa din naman siya. And one critical note here is the use of pentel pen. Importante gamitin yung pentel pen kapag Crayola yung gamit mo dahil uh, mahirap i-define yung outline ng objects mo gamit ang black ng Crayola. It's, it's very useful when it comes to Crayola work. I don't think nagpapartida ka. As long as you know how to use it, you're doing the right thing. Napakamura ng Crayola. So, isa yun sa mga pro. Madaling gamitin. Medyo nakakapagod sa kamay. Uh, ang cons nga lang, hindi siya ganun ka-visually appealing like pastel or the poster colors. But, hindi lang naman looks ang tinitingnan sa poster. It has to come with a strong concept. So, kahit Crayola gagamitin mo, pwede ka pa rin manalo. So, ito yung take ko sa buwan ng Mika with the Crayola video. We have pros and cons using Crayola, man. Kung elementary student ka, it's okay to use Crayola. If that's what the mechanic says, this is it. And that's the, the poster colors. This is commonly known as the watercolor. Yun yung ginamit natin dito. I did not use the branded ones, just the cheap and normal ones for demonstration purposes. Pro ng, ng, ng poster color. It's very dynamic. Ang dami mong pwedeng gawin. Pwede ka mag-landscape. Uh, magandang i-blend. Malinis at pulido ang, ang, ang texture niya. Seascape painting as a, an additional uh, feature sa gawa mo. So kung gusto mong mag-portrait, pwedeng pwede. Depende sa, sa, sa atake mo or artistic preferences mo. Yung, 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 yung identity, identity mo. 
And napakadaling gamitin din ito dahil you just need to use a bigger brush kapag malaki yung uh, kukulayan mo. And when it comes to details, we, we normally use the lettering brush, the one with the fine tip para fine din yung, yung, yung outlines mo. But you can use the normal flat brushes, lada na pag malaki yung, yung uh, outline mo. On this work, I used the pentel pen since maliit lang naman yung board and madaling gamitin yung pentel pen. So, it, it boils down to your preferences naman. So, ang cons lang naman nito, I think, is the cost. Uh, one color of this paint would cost you like 60 pesos to 200, depending on the brand. Uh, the one that I used here is the cheap one. 120 pesos. And you have all the colors, plus orange and green. I mean, you have all the primary colors, plus the orange and green. Cheap ones, but works well. Most especially kapag mga practice ka lang. So, take a closer look. Medyo hindi ko gusto yung pagkakakulay ko dito sa part na to. And this, while coloring this part, I was so uh, disappointed. Niisip ko sana bumingin lang ako ng brand new ones. But, uh, it all turned out okay naman. Kasi nagkaroon tayo ng contrasting items or objects sa background mo. And nilagyan din natin siya ng details like the poste and the the fiesta, the banderitas thing. So that's it for the poster color. I think this is the best uh, material to use if you are allowed to use paints. Makakadetalye ka, unlike ng, sa pastel, kasi ang pastel, the tip of the pastel is very limited. Pero dito, marami kang choices of brush. Mas marami kang choices of colors. So that's it, guys. Sa tingin nyo, sino sa tatlong to ang mananalo? Artwise, I think magigita niyo naman kung alin yung mas superior, di ba? Totoos tong dalawang to, uh, poster color and uh, oil pastel, syempre may iiwan yung crayola. But concept-wise, I think malakas ang laban nito. So, it all boils down to your preference. But make sure you follow the, the contest mechanics. Kung pastel lang dapat gamitin, dapat oil pastel lang. Kung crayola, crayola. Kung poster color, poster color. So, you have to follow the rules. And... At the end of the day, it all boils down to the judges' preferences and your artistic style. And always make sure na mag-insayo at magsanig tayo. Kasi kahit si San Goku nga nag-insayo para labanan si Tuiza, tayo pa kaya. So to ensure na mas mataas ang chance mo manalo, you have to practice. You have to do this like two to three times before the actual game. So kahit Crayola yan lang yung laban mo. Make sure na malakas pa rin yung concept or content. So, yun lang kahit ano, kahit alin po sa tatlo, pwede natin gamitin. As long as it's in the rules, you are free, man. Kung may laban ka, uh, buwan ng wika, good luck guys. Kunin mo yung panalo. Kasi pagdating ng araw, kwento na lang yan. And mas maganda kung yung kwento ang gagawin mo, eh nanalo ka. So, paano manalo? Watch the previous videos. Baka may matutunan kang uh, technique. Just watch the time-lapse video. In concept-wise, you can take inspiration from any of these three. Just make sure that you don't copy it as a whole because that's gonna be like a downside on your originality right here. Yeah, dahil, hindi lang, hindi lang naman ikaw nakakaparang sa video ko. This is public. Um, it's on the public domain. Every, everyone can see it. So, pag nakita nila, sinopia mo lang yung gawa mo, parang matuturn off. So, you can take inspiration but never copy it as is. Kasi, naniniwala naman, naniniwala ako na mas magaling ka sa inaakala mo. Akala mo, ito maganda. I don't think so. You can still create better than this. Just believe in you, man. Believe! So that's it for today's video. The match-ups between Crayola, Poster Color, and Oil Pastel. These are the three ones that are commonly used on poster makings. Watch out for the next video. I don't know what's gonna be next. That's it for the Buana Wika series. You got three inspiration, uh, three works for me to take as your inspiration. I hope you win, guys. See you on the next video. Peace! <laughs> may ano, may bisita pala. Si Marbert, isang magiting na artist. Napakagaling sa animation at isang magiting na graphic designer. Hello guys. Isang napakagaling na artist. Wow. <laughs> And that's an understatement pa. <laughs> Grabe.